Hello everybody, James here from It's Much More and we are here at Skegness. So there he is, the jolly fisherman. So uh, let's take a look at some of these charity shops out here at Skegness. There's quite a fair few of them over the road uh, from either side. So you've got like the British Heart Foundation and stuff like that. So we're going to see what games that we can pick up, if any, and uh, might show you some photos of the arcades and whatnot and some video bits. But uh, let's just try and enjoy this holiday away from the old social media, making a video which is probably going to go on my social media. It's great stuff. So see you soon. The Marine Boathouse down Lumley Road is where we start our journey off. Either sides have shops. Some have been here for many years. You have the shopping centre, the Hildred's Shopping Centre. An amusement cafe, and that has been there for years as well. Shops either side, and restaurants, bars, all that sort of great stuff. There is a first charity shop there, it is British Heart Foundation. Next up we have the Cats Protection Charity Shop. Keith's Rescue Dogs Charity. Sense, Oxfam. St Barnabas. Age UK and the Butterfly Hospice Trust. So that is all the charity shops and we'll be going showing you what I picked up at the end of this video. So this is some more sites around Skegness on the way to the beach. This is all had a nice refurb changing the sand to walkways. There's some nice restaurants and bar grills. That's where I normally have my tea. There it is. And that's how you do it. Cream then jam. There's the theatre. The Jolly Fisherman. We had some nightlife in there. So one person on the dance floor with his finger in the air. This is where we had our fish and chips from. Also, mini fish and beans, of course. Then, uh, yeah, so this is the near the, to the clock tower. Let's go into some of these arcades and shall we? So this is what you guys want to see. So, yeah, the family amusement centre. Funland. So, among us grabbers, didn't win any of those. But, yeah, look at this. Loads of amusement arcades. So I took this video before anyone really came in, but, yeah. There's pretty much everything for everyone if you like racing games. Loads of them. And Sega Rally 3 is there looking nice with these white cars as well. We get to see different cars later on in this video. Time Crisis 5 makes an appearance. We've got uh, Outrun, Mario Kart, some air hockey. One of the Outruns weren't working. Yeah, this is a crazy racing free screen racing machine. Uh, three pound a go, so I'm guessing you pay a pound per screen. Pretty much. But... Uh, yeah, it looked quite nice. But we do have a, a different uh, free screen racing one, which we'll show you later on. So yeah, it's called free screen racing. This game looks quite awesome. It is uh, the fire squad, or the firefighter squad rescue. And yeah, to keep with the times, even the amusement arcades are starting to get some VR games. This, these sort of ones were popping up everywhere, seemed quite popular. But the one that had the most advertisement was this one the King Kong VR so yeah you have to fire everything out of its way Looking pretty awesome expensive as well though as mentioned earlier Time Crisis 5 I got some footage of that didn't even know there was a Time Crisis 5 but yeah looks very nice indeed Mario Kart is always popular four of those there this looked like Ghost Squad made by Sega but uh, I did like Ghost Squad on the Wii so this one uh, yeah Operation Ghost so we picked up some rock for some people and then we headed over to the Skegness, the Seal Sanctuary. So, uh, yeah, Natureland. Got meerkats there, seals, penguins, reptile area, butterfly area, which we'll show you in a moment. There's me and some butterflies. Beaver, Skeg Vegas, turning day into night time, turning night into day. Never be the same again. Anyway, enough of that. Right, so we do like to take our walks from Skegness to Winfolk to Inglemales, and we'll be doing this a little bit throughout this holiday. So lovely beach there at Skegness, a sand beach, a nice calm day, but there is the destination where we want to go. It is Winfolk in the distance, so that's from Skegness to Winfolk. So we have to take this nice sandy path all the way there. So uh, yeah, it's quite nice. So it does take a little while because uh, having sand in your shoes that slow you down, but it still looks nice. Nice brisk walk. You have to go through a golf course as well, because some of the road is blocked off to the public. So yeah, you have to make your way through this golf course, dodging out uh, golf balls from the some of the courses. So yeah, just keep an eye out for random golf balls that fly out. Then you get onto the main road, and we found this in Winfolk, a Minecraft grabber. So yeah, I'm going to give that a go. I have myself a nice cup of tea. 
then a pint, and then I won the prize. A wolf. And I did end up taming that wolf. So it's now a tamed wolf. This is the mini carvery that you have from the boathouse. Then I decided to play some arcades as well. And yep, obviously I smashed it on Outrun 2 SP. Top of the leaderboard with a dodgy steering wheel. And I had to do it on automatic as well because the gears didn't work. So yeah. As you can see, trying to enter my name is quite difficult. So just imagine racing through that with the steering slightly to the right. There you go. Try and beat that challenge if you can. Goal B. Have another drink at the boathouse. So yeah, we're going to now be walking to Inglemouse, but we would normally walk along here. The uh, This would be sand. You know, we'd normally walk along the sand beach and then uh, head to Inglemouse, but yeah, the the sea was quite choppy and you couldn't even see the sand because it was uh, the tide was higher. So you get to see it slightly in a moment on the right hand side here of the shot. People are on the sand, but yeah, it stops. So when you walk past Butlins on the way to Inglemouse, just like the picture of that in the sand, it looks quite nice. We saw this Lincoln Owl Rescue Fundraising Shop. It was a little charity shop in the market of Inglemales. You get to have a photo with an owl as well. So here are some more arcades in Inglemales. Fantasy Island. Sega Rally, free there again. But these ones were different colour cars. They were blue and green. Not the standard white ones from before. So, uh, yeah, I don't know if there was different uh, cars. But, yeah. Once again, all racing games clump together. And this is my favourite one, another free screen game like I mentioned earlier. It's nice to see the VMU, the Visual Memory Unit, to save F355 Challenge. One of my favourite games on the Sega Dreamcast and it is an awesome arcade cabinet to play as well. So free screens all working with no glare, looked nice, looked awesome. Uh, there wasn't the VMU slot sadly for your Dreamcast save, you couldn't put your, uh, your car data on there, you couldn't save it to it. But um, yeah, it's just nice to play. There are two of these next to each other, but one of them wasn't switched on. It was only just this one that was working. But I do have a go of it. I'm just showing you the cabinet here. In the wild, it's still in Inglemales. We're in. All right, so yeah, I played this with the driving aids off. With gears as well. It all worked good. So yeah, I liked it. My favourite Dreamcast game. Near enough anyway. And I won another grabbing prize from that prize every time, but don't tell anyone. So this is a view from the cafe that we stayed at the arcades. So on top of the arcades on the third floor, there is a calf. And that's a nice view. You get to see your Skegness. Had myself a burger. Tastes as good as it looked. Thought of this uh, gaming cafe and it was shut. So uh, Ninja Mitten Cafe was shut at two o'clock in the afternoon. Had another drink. Well, I also won this dude. This was a fridge that was in a place we stayed. And that is it of Skegness. So this is Skegness at night. It looks quite pretty. Walking around and it is all good. So thank you very much for watching this part of it. We'll now show you what we've collected from those charity shops. So that was Skegness. So this is what we picked up from those charity shops then. So the first charity shop we visited was Age UK. And we picked up this game on the PC. Lucius. And it cost us one pound. So yeah, it's a... Uh, the manual in there it's got a soundtrack cd as well and yeah and the receipt so yeah one pound from age uk next up we have a ps3 game and this time it is f1 2010 and this cost us you'll see on the front also one pound so yeah this was from sense and it's boxed and complete so i never played this game before always wanted it but uh yeah i gather they just come out every year like the ea games do like the fifas and the wwe games but yeah just gonna give this a go not got many ps3 games so yeah we thought we'd give this one a try so we visited the butterfly foundation trust i think it's called i'll put the proper title in there somewhere but yeah we picked up another game and it was a single game and it was a wii game so trauma center second opinion uh, we have this already but uh it's quite nice and it would be a replacement case if need be or just to sell it on one pound fifty this cost us so yeah i think it is up in our collection I do, I already have them in the collection. So I have number one and number two. So the next charity shop we visited was the British Heart Foundation. 
So we've got a couple of games here. So first up we have this one, Need for Speed Nitro. So that's a Nintendo Wii game. And uh, let's have a look, see if it's all complete. That it is, all complete with the receipt. So yeah, from Skegness. So uh, this cost me all of £1.99. I don't know if I've got it in my collection. I might have a look. I've not got it in my collection. That's good. Right, so next up we have Tetris Party, another Wii game. And uh, this cost me all of £1.99 as well, so boxed and complete. So yeah, very nice indeed. Tetris is becoming popular again, appearing on Switch and other platforms. So yeah, this would be quite fun to play. So I don't think I have this in my collection. So next up, it is another Wii game. It's made by Sega this time, and it is a limited edition or special edition box set of it. And it is a conduit. So yeah, and it comes with, obviously the game, and uh, it comes with a special edition book. So yeah, this cost me all of £2.99. You can see that there. Yeah, £2.99. So there's the case, normal case, you can buy this singly. But I already do have this in my collection, but I don't know if I have that book there for it. So I'm just going to obviously check which one's a better condition. But yeah, not bad for £2.99. So yeah, supporting the charity. There we are. So I'm going to move on to some plushies now that I've won on those grabber machines. Uh, brr, brr, machines. So uh, let's take a look what we want. So as you saw in that video clip beforehand, uh, I got this guy, the little uh, Game Boy. And uh, well, it's not an official one, but it's uh, a prize every time. And it was £3 for him. And uh, there was a blue version and a pink version, but this one was kind of sticking out. So I had a couple of goes at it and uh, I won him. So yeah, all nice little plushy cushion thing. Yeah, all good. And it's, I don't know who it's by, what does it say here? The Cuddle Crew. But yeah, that would sit nicely on the shelf, like so. This little guy that I got uh, was also featured in the video and uh, he was on a 2P machine. So those 2P pushers, it weren't the usual ones. It was the ones that kind of, you have to flick um, the free shelves. So then more 2Ps fall down but then it did the standard 2P pusher thing. It was this guy from Trolls. I don't know his name. Um, a woman in the uh, lift when I was holding him said his name, but I can't remember what she said. But uh, if you know it, let me know in the comments. Cool little dude. Not seen the new Trolls World Tour film, but I've seen the original one, that was pretty cool. So yeah, he's quite cool and shiny, he looks like me. Yeah, all good. So previously, I won this dude, Master Chief, because it grabbed hold of his head like that and carried it along. along. But uh, a lot of the time you have to kind of grab them by the body. So I kind of tried both techniques there for this character. He would have been seen in the video as well. So I've now tamed him and it is a wolf. There he is from Minecraft. Yeah, a tamed wolf. So, well, he's just a wolf. But uh, my grabber, I got him by the head there and then carried him along. So yeah, everyone was kind of going for the body. I just went for the head there because it grabbed hold of the ears like that. And then it kind of grabbed him along, fell over a couple of times. And so he was here by the glass at the front. So then I took him like that and it fell in. So then I won him. So yes, I won the wolf. So in Skegness, there is also a CX. So I found that and uh, purchased some things because I've now got my new PC. So why not purchase some PC games? So I purchased this one called the Casino Inc. and the Management, all of one pound. So uh, it looked quite interesting by Konami. Never seen it before. And uh, there's two discs, so box and complete there. Both discs are in there and my receipt. So even though my PC hasn't got a CD drive, I just use an external CD drive and play games like this if they work. Next up, sticking with PC games, Dragon's Lair on the PC. So yeah, this cost me all of two pounds. So yeah, big fan of Dragon's Lair and those sort of laser disc games. And this is complete with both discs in there. If we can see them, there they are, both discs. So yeah, Dragon's Lair on the PC, all of two pounds. So PS2 games now, so we picked up Roller Coaster World. So this was 50 pence, so never played it before. It looks like a cheap ripoff of Roller Coaster Tycoon or Theme Park, but uh, yeah, so uh, kind of, it's probably like Roblox, the, um, the Theme Park editor in Roblox, but Box Complete for 50 pence. It probably can go wrong, whether it's rubbish, but uh, I've not got it in my collection, so it's uh, worth a go. So we've got another PS2 game, like I say, Operation Air Assault. So once again, do not have this in my collection. 50 pence as well, and it is boxed and complete there. So yes, nice. So I look forward to playing some of these games. It looks a little bit like Desert Strike or Jungle Strike but in 3D, so it could be good, it might not be, but we'll give it a go. Lastly, for the PlayStation 2, 
it is City Crisis. This game cost me 50p. So uh, this is also box and complete, as you can see there. And uh, it looks like an emergency simulator with um, disasters and stuff like that, with just a helicopter. So yeah, I like playing all those emergency games. There's an emergency game on my PC coming soon, if it's not already out when this video goes out. Or I've done that firefighter video. So there'll be links in the description for all those, but yeah, looks kind of nice and in good condition. So yeah, 50p. You can go wrong, but you know, it's a replacement case at the end of the day if it's rubbish. So when I got back to Nottingham, uh, I stopped at my local Bernardo's store. Well, it's kind of local, it's in St. Anne's. I've done a video about that previously. So top right hand side, there'll be a card or at the end of the video, you find out about this. And there was all PS3 games in there. I don't normally collect PS3 games, but I decided to get those because it's helping the charity and all of these are two pounds each. So we have Gran Turismo 5. Yep, never played it. Never been a fan of Gran Turismo games, but uh, I guess a lot of people are. Grand Theft Auto. So once again, only kind of briefly played this. I watched my brother play it a little bit. Never owned it on the PS3, so I don't know what it's like. These are all box and complete. Far Cry 3. So it looks pretty awesome. There is a, a new VR of Far Cry uh, in one of these, not escape rooms, but these VR things that you can take part in. I'll put description details in the description below about that. So uh, yeah, never played it really. I think I only done a little bit at the start of it where you kind of trapped in a cage and I gave up, but never owned it on a PS3. So well, I'd pick it up. Call of Duty Black Ops on the PS3. So there we go, box and complete. Nothing much said about that. I was never really good at uh, Call of Duty games apart from Call of Duty 4 or Modern Warfare or Call of Duty 3, but uh, never owned it on PS3. So I thought, uh, why not? buy all the PS3 games that are in there. And the last one from Bernardo's is Call of Duty Black Ops 2. So uh, probably same as the original, a little bit more updates, but uh, we'll give it a go. The PS3 is out here in the games room, so something different to play. Lastly, you'll be pleased to know that uh, this is the end of the video, or coming up to it at least anyway. So whilst I was away, I had some deliveries from eBay. So uh, yeah, I, this is the sort of games I like from the PC. It's a kicks range. So this is Chrono Master. This didn't arrive. This is what I've had since uh, it came out. But I decided to buy another Kicks Range game, and this time it is Shell Shock. So yeah, PC game, pretty awesome. They open up like this, and uh, you have the disc in the middle there. So there it is. So yeah, nice little manual and disc in a not a jewel case, but that's magnetic here. So yeah, I'm gonna try and start collecting these. There's not that many that came in this range, but uh, it should be quite good. So. There we go, that's the sort of range I'm going for. I know Duke Nukem 3D came out in that, but uh, yeah, we'll keep an eye out for other games on there as well. And last but no means least, the last one of this video, uh, it is a big box PC game, and it is Worms 2. So yes, I uh, had this game back previously. Obviously don't know where all my big box games have gone. All nice and complete, lovely condition as well. Look how shiny that is. But yeah, awesome. So complete with manual, and obviously the disc is in there as well. There we are, nice. So that is Worms 2 on the PC. So there we go, that is everything. I hope you enjoyed that video. That Skegness, uh, Windfall and Ingle Mouse, the charity shop pickups, the plushies, CEX, eBay purchases, arcades, pretty much everything. Oh yeah, and sometimes when I've had some meals and all that sort of stuff. So thank you very much for watching. If you did like this video, click on that like button, hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Leave us a comment in the comments field below of any games you've picked up or any time you've been away at Skegness or any seaside resort, I'd like to hear from you. So you take care of yourself, all the best, bye bye.